What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Fabric for Minecraft Forge 1.19. If you'd like to see how to set up a Fabric server or a bunch of different other 1.19 videos, check the description down below for links to those. Also, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the Fabric MC installer. Simply head across to that link, fabricmc.net slash use slash installer. This is the downloader for Fabric 1.19. Simply click download for Windows, though of course you may be on Mac, Linux or anything like that, in which case you'll likely use the universal jar file over here. If you do use that and the .jar doesn't open up as you expect, as then it opens in say WinRAR, in the description down below, you'll find a link to a jar fix. That'll tell you exactly how to fix that issue. Anyways, I downloaded the Windows installer, so there's nothing else I need to do but open it up when it's done. I'll click Run, and you'll see this pop up on your screen. Simply select the latest Minecraft version, 1.19, select the latest loader version, which should already be selected, and then click Install with Create Profile ticked. There we go. Now, after a short install, you'll also be reminded to download and install the Fabric API. Click this link over here to reopen your browser, otherwise you'll find a link to it in the description down below. Head across to the Files tab at the very top of it, then look for the corresponding version, in this case 1.19, and click Download on the right-hand side. Wait a few seconds or click here to start the download immediately, and we'll need to place this into our mods folder. To get there, I'll close the installer, I'll hold start and press R at the same time to bring up the run dialog, and inside of here I'll be typing percentage app data percentage backslash dot minecraft. There we go, it's showing up for me, I'll click it and click OK. Then our Minecraft folder will open up. Simply look for the mods folder inside of it, otherwise you'll be creating a new folder called mods. Open it up, then head across to your downloads, and simply drag and drop the jar file, the Fabric API we just downloaded, into the mods folder, and now we're practically done. We can open up the normal Minecraft launcher, and when it's done, we can select Minecraft Java Edition, and you should immediately see Fabric Loader 1.19. Congratulations, we've now successfully installed 1.19 Fabric for Minecraft. Simply select this and click play to start playing immediately, otherwise, preferably, head across to the installations tab at the very top, look for Fabric Loader 1.19 and click the three dots next to it, then edit. You can also search for it at the very top. Inside of the edit screen, click more options at the bottom, scroll down and look for XMX 2G. XMX is the maximum amount of RAM the game is going to have. It's currently set to 2 GB by default, but we can raise this to what you're comfortable with. The more RAM you give Minecraft, usually the better it'll perform, especially with lots of mods. If you know what to put in here, simply enter the amount, click save, and start playing Fabric 1.19. Otherwise, if you don't know what to put in here, hit Control shift and Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager. Inside of here, head across to the Performance tab. Don't worry if yours looks a bit different, I'm on an insider build of Windows 11, and under the Memory section on the Performance tab, we'll see how much RAM we have in our computer, as well as how much is currently in the use. Essentially, we want to give Minecraft as much as possible while leaving Windows and other programs some headroom on your computer. You can't give Minecraft more than you currently have free RAM available. How much RAM do you give Minecraft? Well, for example, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Windows is taking up 6 gigabytes of VRAM, meaning that I have 10 available. I'll comfortably give Minecraft 8 gigabytes of RAM, meaning we have 2 extra gigabytes of RAM for Windows and other programs such as web browsers to use while we're playing the game comfortably. So give Minecraft as much as possible while leaving yourself and programs some headroom. For me though, I have a ton of RAM, so I'll simply enter say 8 here to give Minecraft 8 gigabytes of RAM. Click save in the bottom right and then click play next to fabric loader. Otherwise, on the Play tab, select Fabric Loader from the drop-down over here and click Play to the right-hand side of it, then play once more. Do note, if you haven't launched Minecraft 1.19 before, a small download will need to complete first. There we go. Congratulations, Minecraft 1.19 Fabric has now loaded up and we're in game. Any mods that you have dropped into the Mods folder should now be loaded and working pretty much immediately when we fire up our game. That's really about it for this quick guide. Once more, if you'd like to know how to set up a service, as well as a ton of other 1.19 guides, check the description down below for links to all of those. 
Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My Sweet Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.